Okay, I am on the street they named after Bill. Uh, Clinton Avenue, Mesa Way, 36th Street in Richmond, California. You can tell I'm in Richmond because there's the bay and Mount Tam is right over there. Um, so what's noteworthy about this street? Well, I just did a big job down the street, planted some big trees and uh, just barely got my giant crane truck out of this uh, alleyway that I had to go down to plant the trees. Uh, so it's not uh, the new asphalt on this street, which is noteworthy. There's the alley that I had to struggle to get down. There are the trees I planted. Super beautiful. Queen palms. Big giant ones. Uh, client stoked. But there's a few things here that are noteworthy. And one is this beautiful old row of Cinnamomum camphora. The camphor tree. This tree is native to China, Japan, I believe Sri Lanka, some of the Asian countries over there. It's a beautiful tree. I have not covered this tree yet. Uh, it's evergreen. It gets this really beautiful glossy leaf. So you can use it in tropical gardens because it really does lend well to a tropical garden look. Pull a leaf off and um, really beautiful glossy leaf, real tropical. You know, it makes a nice, nice deeper shade. See the shade that it makes in here. Um, it's a, it, the tree gets big. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Uh, so the tree also has all kinds of essential oils in it and you can go crush these leaves up and it's the most, just most amazing sort of medicinal scent. It tastes a little bit like eucalyptus uh, or smells. And uh, it actually in China, uh, they make essential oils and actually make a fake eucalyptus oil with this. <laughs> so when you buy your eucalyptus oil, it may have camphor in it. Uh, but what's interesting is, uh, so in, I believe in uh, Korea, uh, I think it was, no, we might've been to Taiwan. This tree, uh, they would chip it up and they would uh, burn the bark and the, and the wood and they would get the smoke off the wall of the chimney, I guess, and they would scrape it up with the oil and then they would like process it. And the next thing you know, they'd have all this essential oil. And that was a huge industry for them for a really, really long time. Um, but, uh, so it makes a great street tree. These things obviously don't get any water at all. This neighborhood's been here for 80 years. So these trees are probably 80 years old. So we're gonna take a look at what kind of, uh, what, the, what, what kind of potential they have. But look how beautiful the bark is on this. It's just gorgeous. So apparently uh, there are some trees that have a circumference of 66 feet and they can get 80 feet tall. These trees here have a circumference of, well, let's see, they have a diameter of, that's easily three and if not four feet. Uh, there's some that are bigger down here. The height on these trees, what's interesting too is they've worked them all around the, uh, the high voltage power lines, which is really, uh, surprising. <laughs> but look at the beautiful canopy they get. I mean, look at that. It's like a beautiful tropical rainforest tree. So when you have these beautiful tropical evergreen trees in your garden, you can grow all kinds of things underneath them because there's no frost whatsoever, like kentia palms, tree ferns, bromeliads, any kind of thing that would get frosted, you can grow under these trees. Um, it has a very beautiful golden hue to the foliage. Uh, some people like that. Some people like a darker green, but you have to sort of like, yeah, you have, you have to like, hi. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, anyway, you have to like that golden hue to the foliage. So look at this. <laughs> this is cool. So this is what I like about this. People say, well, you, you know, you want to plan a mix of sidewalks. Come on, man, it's 80 years. Are you really, is your sidewalk gonna last 80 years? This is what I like. This is basically like the tree one. <laughs> we put it in this impossible situation and the tree just puts up with it. And eventually the tree wins. And uh, so, so what if you have to pour a new sidewalk once every 80 years around your tree and just cut some, some, uh, some root ball back and these trees seem to really have no problem with it. Uh, but look at the beauty. Oh, look, this is my problem. Here's, what's that? I heard something just fall on the ground. What, what, what could that be? Uh, let's see here. 
Oh, it looks like it's checked. Oh, it looks like it's written to me. <laughs> Better put that deeper in my pocket. Um, look at the modulation of the swirls of uh, bark. So pretty. How it just oozes over the curb. I don't know, you know, it's like I'd rather sacrifice, I'd rather have a tree like this and sacrifice a sidewalk than uh, the other way around. Oh boy, oh boy. I have a special treat for you. I spy. I spy. I spy a hummingbird um, harassing a couple raptors. I think those are babies. You see them? There's one there. There's one there. A huge nest up there. I don't really know my birds so well. Someone can ID those. Oh, there's three. Those are definitely chicks. Big chicks. They're getting ready to not be chicks anymore. You get a better view. Look, what a surprise. Can you see that? Am I still on it? Let's see, where is it? It's right. Am I out of frame? Let's see, this is really hard. Okay, there's the crotch. Okay, YouTube people, help me, help me, help me, help me. What kind of birds are those? They're gorgeous. Those are like some kind of bird of prey. There's three of them at a minimum up there. There's two looking at us right now. Um, do you wish you could go? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Kitty. I hear a kitty. Hi, how are you? Hi, Hi kitty, 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 kitty. Hello, how are you? You're pretty, you're pretty, and I'm not superstitious. You're not really a black cat because you got a white spot. I've got nothing to worry about. Um, did you see the birds up in the tree? You probably were a little tempted when they were younger, but I think they might be able to take you. I think they might be able to take you right now because they're pretty big. There's three of them too. I don't think you could take on three. They've got claws. Claws are probably bigger than your claws. You shouldn't go up there. Have you tried to go up there yet? Look, there they are. There they are. They're looking at us. Maybe they're mad because I'm making friends with the cat. Wait, where are they? I think that's them, right? There? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, camp for tree. I'm going to finish up. Uh, if you want to visit Mr. Um, what's your name? Uh, I don't know. What should we call you? What should we call you? Shadow. You're going to be called Shadow. You're sneaky. Oh, yeah. You want to play? I'll play. I'll play with you. 